ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Tonight, Skippy is giving a tribute to Jackie Gleason. His guests include one of the talented actresses from the original Honeymooners series, Miss Jane King. And with her is a fascinating lady who spent over 13 years with Jackie, the love of his life, Miss Honey Merrill Roman. And now, here he is, the man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Jane Keen. Yes, Skippy. God, how many years you were with Jackie Gleason? Uh, well, about ten. ten. But, but prior to being on the series, oh, the I, I right. was on vo in vaudeville with him and on Broadway and in Summer Stock. With I him. did some. You've done a lot with him. Yes, an awful lot. But I go real way quick. Back. I'm going to ask you real quick. Why I'm quick? Kinda, well, I, I'm going to ask you because I want to do that front. Take time. Why? No, I will. I have so much to say. What? Why, Jackie Gleason? What kind of a man really was this man, Jackie Gleason? I'm well, I think it's very hard to, to describe Jackie in just one sentence because to me, he shifted gears somewhere in the middle of his life. Oh. And, and in the old day, when I say old days, we, we literally appeared in Lowe's one-nighters together when uh -huh. he did a stand-up act. And uh, in the Toot Shore era, where oh. he, he was... So much fun, so full of life, and, and love laughs, and love uh, living, and yeah. uh, you know, practical jokes on people. Mm -hmm. And then, with the success, uh, the tremendous success, he became like a, you know, a household word. Then he shifted gears and became much more serious. I think there was a tremendous responsibility and, uh -huh. and the weight of the world on his shoulders when you're that big. And I think that happens to so many giant stars. Now, the Jane, Jane Keene, the Keene sisters. Yes. Where did the Originally, where did you come from? Where did I uh, come the, from? The Keene sisters. Well, we, we, the vaudeville, I know. Well, but. no, we, we were born in Hartford, Connecticut, and uh, we had a stage mother, and my sister was in show business first. Mm. She, my older sister, and then Betty. when mother thought I was ready, she'd have Betty introduce me as part of her act. Uh huh. So right. I would get on and get experience that way. And then I got a Broadway show myself uh -huh. called Early to Bed, and uh, then we 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 really worked separately for many years, and then we got together in the. I didn't the, know that. I thought you you were a team never. for a long time. Well, I mean, it I'm was. not saying never, but we were for eight years only. All right. We were both appearing in a show called Call Me Mister. I was in the Na the New York company. Betty was in the national one, which had Buddy Hackett and Bud uh -huh. um, uh, Fossey uh -huh. and uh, Kyle Reiner was mm -hmm. in her company, the national company, and I was on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And when the two shows closed, both companies, mm -hmm. an agent at GAC suggested we join up and we, for one shot on Ed Sullivan. And that's what it was supposed to Ed be. Ed Sullivan made a lot of stars. Yes. Even he made Presley. He's made the Beatles. Well, they have he really, on there. The Beatles really got to thank Elvis Presley. Sitting next to you is your old friend, Honey Merrill Roman. Yes, yes. yes. Spent 13 <laughs> years with Mr. Jackie Gleason. That's true. Yes, 13 long years, honey. That's Tell me true. about those 13. I mean, how did you meet Mr. Jackie Gleason? Uh, at the auditions um, you were one in of 1956, showgirls? yes, when he was, um, uh, that, that season he was putting showgirls on uh -huh. for the first time with the dancers. Right. And uh, there were, I think, four auditions, starting with about 500 uh -huh. gals at the first one and dwindling down to the 16 that he eventually used, yeah. And that's where I first met him. Yeah. How did it become the love of your life? I mean, Jack, the... Uh, when did that happen? That took a little while, actually. Oh, it did? Yeah. It wasn't right yeah. away, then? No, I started dating Jack. And um, then um, I went to Las Vegas. Uh -huh. I worked there uh, as a showgirl for mm -hmm. about three or four months. Mm -hmm. And then when I came back to New York, um, that's when we started seeing each other. Mm -hmm. Steadily. You two girls have a lot of memories of this well, wonderful we do. genius. I, well, I have yeah. very fond memories of Honey, and, and uh -huh. the, uh, because when I did the show, I started it in, in Florida, Florida in the 60s when they uh -huh. went into color and the hour-long versions uh -huh. and, right. and musicals. Yeah. And Honey was Those always... Those musicals were great. You yeah, were wonderful. And she, was, I love uh -huh. she was always so uh -huh. wonderful because she was in charge of everything. She was so thoughtful because she'd see that everybody got flowers every week. I know that was her. That, mm -hmm. It instigated the entire uh -huh. thing and, and all the Christmas presents that she did, all the shopping and oh, everything. Started in October. And uh, <laughs> you she, were she was devoted. Yeah, she was really devoted. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she was. She did everything for Why him. didn't you marry him, honey? At 13 years, I mean, 
You left Jackie. Why didn't you? I mean, he was ready to marry you. Why? Yes. Why did um, Honey Merrill marry Jackie Gleason? Is there a reason? Or? Uh, yeah, I think, um, well, well I, it well, had <laughs> a lot to do with the fact that Jack was extremely jealous. Was he really jealous? And um, in my book, I'll go into further detail, but it was really, I think, the jealousy that drove me away at the end. Oh, yeah. I see. It was not, as I've was seen he tough to live so with? many. Yeah, I saw the um, the magazine article about uh, that kind of condensed our 13 years together into one line, and it said, "And Honey Merrill got tired of waiting too," you know. And it was not anything like that. But there was a yes. an obstacle uh, in the be the early in years the very of because yes. at that point he could not get a divorce from uh, Genevieve, his uh, first right. wife, who. Uh -huh was uh, a very uh, solid Catholic. And mm -hmm. it, in those days, it That's was very difficult to get. Oh, yes, I see. Yes. But uh, then when Honey, the way I remember it, when Honey uh, uh -huh. broke up with Jack, she left, the law in New York changed that if you no, haven't lived together, wasn't no, it, Summer? No, it was um, about two years before I left. Uh -huh. The New York State divorce law had changed so that you could get a no-fault divorce. I see. Um, okay. And but it was not; it could not be retroactive. You had to be separated for two years from the date of that. I see. So the two years would have been September, or October, 1969, because Jack filed immediately as soon as the new law came into effect. Uh -huh. He he filed for the divorce. And I left him in April of 69, the end of April, uh -huh. on my birthday in 1969. There's a singer came along in your life. Yes. His name was Dick Roman. Yes. Wonderful whom I had singer. Met Great singer. Just briefly on Jack's show. He was show. on Jackie's yes. show. Uh huh. Marvelous singer. Vic yes. Damone-ish type. Yes. He yes. A major well, what happened to Dick Roman? Well, let's say Vic Damone is Dick Roman-ish. <laughs> oh, okay. What happened there, honey? Meryl? Uh, well, we started dating. I had uh, left Jack the end of April, and uh, Richard was appearing, Dick Roman, uh, uh -huh. was appearing at the Eden Rock, mm -hmm. and I was very busy with my new decorating business, and all of a sudden I paused one day, looked at the newspaper, and I said, wow, Dick is at the Eden Rock. And I called some friends, and it just so happened that he'd been trying to reach me uh -huh. to ask me to come and see the show. So anyway, we started dating. That was in August of 69. Uh -huh. And um, after saying that I was never getting emotionally involved with anyone again as long as I lived, uh -huh. um, I was married to Richard uh, on December 21st of that same year, 1969. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, so it was kind Jane, of... Jane, yes. and, and honey, tell me something. Was Jane... Ja Jackie difficult at all? His ego did he get in the way a lot? With, what, would you say well, at times? But I, I, I don't know. I have Jane feels about that. But I think anybody with that enormous a talent, uh, a person who's so multifaceted, uh -huh. it it would be hard for them not, not to, to have moments. You know, I uh -huh. mean, when they're going in in fourteen different directions, when uh -huh. they know how to do everything and they can do just about anything better than anybody else. Right. I mean, the lights, the sets, the yes. scenery, the uh -huh. writing, Brilliant. the music, the whatever. I mean, naturally, you're going to have moments of impatience yes. with people or whatever. You Jane, know. how do you feel? Well, you, I, you, he you, was, you. I think he was always very easy on the actors. Oh, he was yeah. wonderful was really, to me, yes. wonderful Great to, uh -huh. yes. to Art Carney and Audrey. Art Carney. You're yes. mentioning Art Carney. I want to show this picture of you and Art Carney. Oh, I just love this man. I oh, think he's wonderful. Yeah, he was sweetheart. He was. He, what really kind of man is he to work with, James? Well, he's he, he is actually very insecure, very shy, uh -huh. very low key, uh -huh. and uh, the, they work so differently. But it was like magic when the two of them at rehearsals. Mm -hmm. If they only taped the rehearsals, that would have been something for the public to see. Good rehearsals. Oh, right. when they would ad lib because uh -huh. they just fit each other like Laurel uh -huh. and Hardy. It was like that, you know, uh -huh. and all wonderful teamwork. But they were, they never, they seldom socialized after the show. I mean, Jackie did would that, go off in his... Did they really? They never uh, limos? Did no. And that yeah. hurt Art. That was, yeah, he was very problem. sensitive to that. He was? Yes, he was. That mm -hmm. hurt him very much. He, because he wanted he never to be invited close. to go. He never in, he never got close with uh, Jackie. Never wanted when close. When Honey was it? there after the shows, we always used to go to a, a restaurant. The whole yeah, group. After the table. But I think Honey instigated a lot of that, where we would all join. I but uh, yeah. afterwards, uh, 
that, that completely disagree. He he yeah, married was, briefly at, right, uh, on yes, the rebound right. when Honey left. He married a. <clears throat> I don't like to say it. That's right. Uh, a, a, a lady in the interim between uh, before he married uh, Marilyn Taylor, uh, uh -huh. there was a lady. That, it was an unfortunate marriage because she. I wish she, I had a great deal of guilt. Through yes, the years, well, yeah. and I mean, she was uh, just uh -huh. a difficult woman and uh -huh. uh, was not gracious in any way. Once she became Mrs. Gleason, she yes. was. The star and and, and uh, had a tattooed it, on her chest, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> and the, uh -huh. well, the only possible <laughs> thing, I, because he always loved beautiful. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, he always admired beautiful women. Did he give you she, furnished beautiful gifts, Honey Merrill? I mean, I understand oh, yes. he gave you chinchillas, yes. diamonds, no, never had pink, diamonds. Yes, pink I had diamonds. Yes, I had yellow diamond. canary diamonds. Yes, beautiful, yellow beautiful jewelry. jewelry. He mm -hmm. he was kind. There wasn't an occasion over the year when Jack would not remember me with some sort of lovely gift, uh, uh -huh. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, yes. uh, any, any time of year. And um, St. Patty's Day, whatever, something uh -huh. green, an uh -huh. emerald. You uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. He always did that. And he was always asking me what I wanted, and I would always say nothing. You know? And because I said nothing, I think really that he used to outdo himself trying to I please me. I love this picture of you and I Jackie know. together. Oh, isn't that, nice? isn't yeah. that a lovely picture? It is lovely. You know, she looks like. She looks like Grace Kelly. Kelly. Hair starter. Right. Yeah. Grace Kelly. <laughs> uh, Tell me, where was this taken? Virus, where anyway. was this at, honey? Um, that looks like it might have been at an affair that was given for him in New York um, in 1963. It was supposed to be given uh -huh. uh, earlier, and then that was the day John F. Kennedy I was I like this uh, one. This is my favorite, favorite shot. Yes, that's cute. That's isn't wonderful of you. God, was I ever it, that age? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love that. Was I, I ever was that young? last month, wasn't was it? I, Jackie oh, Gleason's please. Where did the time go? Was that's I a great ever, shot. Ever, was ever that young. You went to Paris oh. with him, honey. Three times, yeah. But the wonderful movie in France. Oh, oh that that was we were there so for almost great. six wasn't months. Wasn't that a great go. movie? That was that's my husband's favorite. Mine too. Jane King gets. Gijo, 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 and the name of the <coughs> movie Kelly directed is it. Gijo, Gijo. Mm -hmm. Wasn't just, he brilliant? I, brilliant. But brilliant. Jane wrote. Well, don't you and feel? Did the music, don't you? Everything. Don't you feel? He did. He mm -hmm. directed everything. It? No, music? Gene Kelly directed. Directed, but oh, yeah. He, yeah. The music. He mm -hmm. wrote the the yes. film and starred in it and wrote all the music. Yeah. Jack did. He was the closest mm -hmm. thing to a chaplain. 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't you believe comics, good comics, hmm. are great dramatic actors? Jane? Very often they are. He happens to be it one. It doesn't of go them. the yes. reverse, though. No, it certainly Am does I right? not. It does exactly. not go the reverse. Don't learn how to do comedy. Comedy, yeah, that's right. But I think one of the great oversights this past year was that he was not nominated for an Oscar for the the role he played in that. In uh, nothing in common. In nothing, nothing in common. Yes. He was brilliant. Yes. That yes, was he some was. performance. Yes, he was. Yeah. Little knowing. Little knowing that, that was his that's last. the way he was going to go. Yeah. Jack was yeah. used to oversights. Of course, he never received an Emmy. I know it. He for never got all an Emmy? of those no. years of brilliant shows. Never received an Emmy. Everyone else on Art, the show received the Emmys. Why? Everybody. Why is our business unfair, Jane King? Well, I have a theory I, about Jackie being overlooked, and I think it was his false bravado. The great one and all of mm -hmm. that, and that the that that turned off like the him. industry. No, just Personally, like Mickey Rooney. Was, That's right. And I I just yes. done a long tour with him in a play, and he was constantly overlooked until a a, a, a very uh, insignificant role in the Black Stallion. He uh -huh. should have received should've, it. Wasn't he of wonderful course, in that? Of course he should. He was of wonderful course. in that. But he has so that great. kind of attitude, you know. Yeah. To the, it's and the facade. To me, I think on, on, a, on a par with that is the fact that Moonlighting has been overlooked. I think it's the finest show on TV. And Bruce Willis kind of has that cocky uh -huh. attitude. Uh -huh. And he's not likely to win any awards yeah. either because of that. And yet he's brilliant in, uh -huh. you know, what he does in this yes. Working with Mickey Rooney. Yes. Is he, isn't he, I think he's great. I think he's brilliant. The show That's you were, how long were you talent. on the road with him, Jerry? Well, we were, we were three months in Chicago. It was a show called The Laughs on the Me. The Laughs on Me, right. And uh, Mickey just made it a, a tour de farce right. for himself, you know. And uh, we, sometimes we would ad-lib, uh, improvise an entire scene. Uh -huh. And he, he just, he'd go to the audience. Yeah. And I just think he's marvelous, and his—that's what happened in Los Angeles. That's what happened yeah. in Los Angeles with Sugar Babies. 
He did, he did the same mm -hmm. thing in L.A. The critics did not like what he did. He went right well, off the script, look and how right they, into it. Well, look what they did to him on uh, Funny Thing Happened on the Way Before Form. And I went yeah. to see it, and I, I laughed my head off. I think he was wonderful. Right. He I did it. He walked it. right out and did it. I mean, it's an old the, show. Yeah. It, it, a lot of those shows do not hold up. The they way. don't. No. No. Yeah. I mean, it's, they get dated. Follies. Follies. Oh, oh, what I a love show. That. Oh. Broadway. Ah. Yes, now it's a big hit in London. I would love to have done it there. You went to Australia. I did. They, did you? you know, the, the British equity and Australian equity are very tough on Americans. I yeah. mean, they only allow so I many. I want to sit that and talk about that right yes. now. Yes, yes. Jane Keane, why the England and, you know, they're so tough on us. And they come here, invade Entire our companies. country, yeah. invade our country. Because we're and dumb. And take it over. <laughs> I know. And they work in our country, yeah. and we don't do nothing about it. I know. Well, here was my, we, my uh, experience. I had done this play, The Mind with the Dirty Man in Vegas, which was, uh, it broke right. all records. It yeah, was very, very good. Right. I, I At the play. So they, my husband, Joe, played yes, a part right. of the priest in it. He was excellent. And too. they were going to, the, they took me over there. They brought me and Keenan Wynn to play the male right. part. Mm -hmm. And my husband was going to play his role again as the, the priest. But they had an American director who went with us, who had done it in Vegas. And when we got there, they had paid all Joe's expenses and uh. all. They did not allow him to play it. <laughs> the irony nice. was that they, the man at equity that was in charge of the Australian equity played the part himself. You're joking. <laughs> he he was an actor. See, this right. is very unfair. We, yeah. are, we Americans open our doors for yeah. everyone. Well, we take Open it, our doors we? for everyone but our people. We yes. don't stay and mm -hmm. support our own people. And they're very tired I know. of Well, that. they True. did try to fight it now for uh, um, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. But uh, the, the gal in it was so wonderful. Sometimes I think you should make an exception. I love this. Sometimes, yes. yes. But this, I love this. That Eileen this. Heckert. Oh, Tell me about this. This, this is the last? Audrey, yes, this was the very Audrey's last home. special that we did together. It was from the Resorts International in Atlantic City. And uh, it, we also appeared, did the same show in the nightclub for a week, and it, you could not get near the place. It was sold out completely. Sensational. And it was a tremendous hit. But Eileen Eckert, I'll never uh -huh. forget, because Jackie, as <laughs> honey will bear me out, uh -huh. hated to rehearse. Oh, I mean, uh -huh. he would yeah, come yes. to rehearsal, and yeah. he just didn't feel like it. He wanted a drink. Jackie didn't like to rehearse. No, no way. No, no. And so we all rehearse. gathered there <laughs> around the... You mean oh, he no. didn't rehearse at all? No, not... Really? I mean, five minutes and out the door. All right. Bye. See you and later. And he'd call, he'd call honey in the middle of rehearsal. We'd, he'd get up from the table. He'd get her on the phone and say, I think... I would like roast pork tonight <laughs> and the brown potatoes. Uh, you got that? Yeah, right. I'd have and, it. <laughs> and she, I mean, she did everything. She did not want a maid. She uh -huh. thought he would no, be. No, he did not want a maid. Well, whatever. I wasn't quite that bad. No, <laughs> Honey, you're she, writing a book. Uh, Tell yes. me about that. Yeah. A book about your uh, life. A book about our 13 years together. Uh -huh. um, a book to hopefully clear up a lot of misconceptions, a lot of inaccurate statements that have been made about the two of us during the time we were together mm -hmm. and uh, I declare one right now just yes. one mm -hmm. I would like you to yes just something was in the paper about you mm -hmm. in the Los Angeles Times a few weeks ago yeah, about you and Jackie mm -hmm. about the sprinklers mm -hmm. tell me about that okay um, there was something written by someone who had been um, ma married to um, Jack's um, secretary Oh. And he said that he was writing a book about Jack, about the effect of the move from New York to Florida uh -huh. on the cast and crew. And I don't really know what he could have known about that since he wasn't with us in New York, so how would he know what the effect would be when we moved to Florida? But anyway, in, the, in any event, he said that uh, he, uh, one of the items would be the fact that Jack and I were out one night drinking and we were both very drunk. He did have the grace to say that it was unusual for me which is, as you know, not only unusual, but, yeah, just about impossible. Uh -huh. And uh, that the chauffeur dropped us off in front of the house, and that I was really angry with Jack, and that I hit him with my purse. I guess this little guy was behind the bushes while all this was going on. I don't know. Uh -huh. I mean, somebody must have been. <laughs> but um, that I had hit Jack with my purse, and that Jack fell to the ground. He'd passed out. Mm -hmm. And then I reached over 
supposedly and to touch him uh -huh. I was upset and then I passed out uh -huh. and the two of us were laying there until the automatic sprinklers went on in the morning which oh, woke oh, us up that's stupid. <laughs> and my comment was that he was more likely to have hit someone with his purse than I was the <laughs> <fellow> who reported <laughs> this and um, I, I would really love to know how you know such a fantasy uh -huh. came into his imagination well, I and never saw Honey take a drink. Yeah, I don't think no, we I'm were not a drinker. Already. I'm still not a drinker. Um, I mean, no, so kind of love letters. Not my thing. Jackie used to write you those little notes. Those um, little love he wrote letters. me um, a lot of funny little notes with a character drawn on them, and I'm really like I'm not kind of releasing that sort of thing right now. Uh -huh. I have at least sixty of them that I found in recent weeks. Uh -huh in going through boxes that had not been unpacked since 1969, if you can believe. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, pack rat that I am, I uh -huh. just drag them from place to place. Uh -huh. And um, they are warm and tender and very romantic and very funny. He honey. was a and romanticist. Yeah. Looking back, yeah. honey, in 13 years with Jackie Gleason, mm -hmm. Could you share just one little great moment that you had you, one that stick right in your funny mind at all times? Yeah. was um, one time that um, we, we left Spain. We were not happy with Barcelona. And we got on the train and went back to Paris. And we went right up to the Ritz Hotel and went right up to the suite. And we called the room service waiter. And now Jack is starving. He hated the food in Barcelona. Uh -huh. He hated everything there. It was the wrong time of the year. I think that was the problem. Not a good problem. No. But anyway, so we get back to the Ritz, and the room service waiter comes up. And Jack is, like, going crazy with the menu. And he says, OK, we will have 12 croissants, 12 brioches, uh -huh. a huge pitcher of freshly <sighs> squeezed orange uh -huh. juice. Let us have a dozen eggs uh -huh. in an omelet uh -huh. with cheese. Um, that we will have a bowl of raspberries, fresh raspberries, and a bowl of fresh strawberries, and we will have some creme fraiche uh, for yes. the raspberries and strawberries. And he said we will have sausages, and we will have um, uh, th four rashes of bacon, and, he's, and ham, sliced ham, and, and he's going on and on, and then toast, and uh -huh. everything, and a pitcher of coffee, uh, a pot of coffee, and a pot of tea, and just on and on and on, the waiter is very quietly taking everything down. And then the waiter looks at me and he says, and you, madame? <laughs> <laughs> got Jack. It got him so that ah, for that's days funny. afterwards, he kept uh -huh. repeating the story to everybody. He loved it. He loved that somebody uh -huh. had gotten him yes, one time. Yes, yeah, I, I remember funny. asking What do you remember? <laughs> well, so, well, I remember so many so things. Many, right, but I, that, I remember him when I asked him how he liked Europe. He says, oh, what, what? Europe is just a different bartenders. <laughs> <laughs> he never traveled by yeah. He never he didn't flew. Like it. Did no. No. Burl, never no, not flew in those in days. Europe he didn't. Not in he, all the years I was fly. with him. We used to get private trains and, oh no, in Europe and it's here. It's difficult for yeah. him to get on trains crossing town, uh, countries well, nowadays. Oh, yeah. He loved difficult. it. Difficult. <laughs> A lot of people don't Love fly. A lot of people don't no, fly. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, I remember an incident when we were in summer stock, we did a play called The Show Off together. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we're playing this very, it's a serious play with comic overtones or undertones, whatever. But uh, we are uh, this close. I was playing his wife uh -huh. and we would say, oh, you, you never come home and you're just, you're not a good husband <laughs> and this and how dare you and all, and this serious, but <gasps> Amy, please, with that, right in the middle of the scene, a spider right down between the two of us and so and the spot just hit it the spotlight uh -huh. so that everybody saw it you know and uh -huh. right in the middle of this so I, well he pulled the old line you know he thought, that's the last show you'll see for nothing <laughs> <laughs> well we got so hysterical that's and the audience well they had a ring down the curtain oh that's because great when he broke up you he yes. you know that now it he wasn't couldn't often. stop no it wasn't no. often but when but he then you went something broke up okay. yeah well, he could not no <laughs> he would just couldn't go was he a heavy drinker honey would you not, say no i or wouldn't an irish say drinker he oh. was um he drank Periodically. Oh, I'm looking at periodically. Jane. I'm looking at no, Jane. No, 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 quite. No, I tell you the truth. <laughs> He's I a man's seen him, drinker. Would you no, say, Jane? Jane, I would see him drink three drinks and be just as bombed as he was when he had finished the bottle. Okay. Oh, that Yes, and that I did years, see. Yes, I can remember uh, drinking bouts that he uh -huh. had with Toot Shore. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, I know there were a few of those. One, one great story with Toots. 
uh-huh. <laughs> he ca- they had a well, to see who could drink the most, uh-huh. and and Jackie passed out in the in the <laughs> men's room, and someone went and said, "Mr. Gleason is out. He's just." Let the bum stay there. <laughs> and <laughs> then yes, he yeah. got up uh-huh. and Started freshened all over. up. He can he could do that too. He could just yeah. sober Gone back up. to the bar, right? But he yeah, would also great. he would go as long as like six seven months without touching a drink, how about without food? touching well, a drink. How about food? That, yes. Did eat a lot? Eat yeah. a lot. Uh, he'd binge on food just like he'd binge on booze. Did he? Yeah. Did he? At times he was very very good. One time. We were in Arizona for three months playing golf, and uh-huh. I put him on a, a diet, and uh, he lost 100 pounds in three months. Oh. Yeah. 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 Jean Keen, I'm looking at you. You just, you know, you look just wonderful. Doesn't she, honey? How long you two haven't seen each other? How long it's been? Five years now. Really? Last Has time it? I saw you was in you Florida. Yeah. You yeah. both, you yeah. look wonderful, Jane. Oh, what, okay. What's new and exciting in your life right now? My, well, I you don't know. I don't know. I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, voiceovers. You, you and Penny Singleton and Robert yes, Morris. Yeah. Yeah. They're all I do a lot of uh, imitations uh-huh. and impressions. I and can do almost any uh, dialect. Uh-huh. So it's quite uh, invaluable. What well, do you mean almost TV. any? I don't know of one you, you can't know, anyone, do. All the good actors <laughs> are doing heard voiceovers. Doing Robert Morris yeah. is doing them. Sure. Penny Singleton. Why they're if a you lot. have a distinctive quality in your voice. Yes. Like, say, Tammy Grimes. She does a lot of... Uh, oh, I love like, her. I she love has an unusual and voice. And you can spot them yes. like that. What's happening uh-huh. with her career right now? She's such a great... I don't know. You know, we had this... Like uh, I really like her. It's I like a Broadway if, star. If it weren't for Rady Harris's column, I would not know what goes on mm-hmm. in New York. Uh-huh. I, uh-huh. I devour that yeah. column in The yeah. Hollywood Reporter because yeah. Rady is right on top of everything uh-huh. in New York. And it's such a joy because uh-huh. when you're in California... Isn't it true? Yes, You're 3,000 yeah. miles away. You, know, you say, you see a New Yorker magazine or yes, something, and say, exactly. well, that, well, I didn't hear right. about that yeah. show. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Carl yeah. Reiner or wh- whatever, you just are not aware of it. In California, you're in tune to television and movies and this. That's true. Uh, but that's it. You're living out at the I beach. I love Broadway. You're living out. <laughs> I do. Oh, I do, too. Jane. I adore it. Jane, New yeah. York. Isn't I, it great? It is you still miss exciting. Always. Always. I do. I, I'm sure that it would be not the way it was uh-huh. to live there, uh-huh. that I probably would be so um, disillusioned. We're going to be honey, hopefully moving you're, into you're city living in about a year you're because living my daughter wants to go you're, to um, NYU. Oh, so that's we'll nice. And you're, you're living where, here. honey? At Newtown, Connecticut. Newtown, Connecticut. <laughs> oh, uh, Connecticut. That's, yeah. that's not far from yeah. Manhattan at all. An hour and 45 uh-huh. minutes. Do you go in town. Uh, as often as we can. I'd, I'd be in twice as often. If, no, there? no. You must look her up. No, and she's right love. up at Wilton Corners, yeah, and I keep I, to to I mean, you left Jackie. Why didn't you? I mean, he was ready to marry you. Why? Yes. Why didn't um, Honey Merrill marry Jackie Gleason? Is there a reason? Or? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, well, well, I. Well, it had <laughs> a lot to do with the fact that Jack was extremely jealous. Was he really jealous? And um, in my book, I'll go into further detail, but it was really, I think, the jealousy that drove me away at the end. Oh, yeah. I I, it was not, as I've was seen he tough to live so with? many. Yeah, I saw the, um, the magazine article about, uh, that kind of condensed our 13 years together into one line, and it said, and Honey Merrill got tired of waiting, too. You know, and it was not anything like that. But there was a an obstacle uh, in the be- in the early in years the very of it because yes. at that point he could not get a divorce from uh, Genevieve, his uh, first right. wife, who uh-huh. was uh, a very s- uh, solid Catholic. Mm-hmm. And it, in those days, it was very difficult to get. Oh, yes, I yes. see. But uh, then, when Honey. The way I remember it, when Honey uh, uh-huh. broke up with Jack, she left. The law in New York changed that if you no, haven't lived bef- together, wasn't no, it, Summer? No, it was um, about two years before I left. Uh-huh. The New York State divorce law had changed so that you could get a no-fault divorce. That's it. Um, <laughs> and, but it, was not, it could not be retroactive. You had to be separated for two years from the date of that. I see. So the two years would have been September or October 1969 because Jack filed immediately as soon as the new law came into effect. Uh-huh. He, he filed for the divorce. And I left him in April of 69, the end of April, uh-huh. on my birthday. In 1969. There's a singer came along in your life. Yes. His name was Dick Roman. Yes. 
One I had met great singer. Just briefly on Jack's show. He was show. on Jack's yes. show. Uh huh. Marvelous singer, Vic yes. Damone-ish type. Yes, he should yes. have said a major. Well, what happened to Dick Roman? Well, let's say Vic Damone is Dick Romanish. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened there, honey, Meryl? Uh, well, we started dating. I had uh, left Jack the end of April, and uh, Richard was appearing, Dick Roman, uh, uh -huh. was appearing at the Eden Rock, mm -hmm. and I was very busy with my new decorating business, and all of a sudden I paused one day, looked at the newspaper, and I said, wow, Dick is at the Eden Rock. And I called some friends, and it just so happened that he'd been trying to reach me uh -huh. to ask me to come and see the show. So anyway, we started dating. That was in August of 69. Uh -huh. And um, after saying that I was never getting emotionally involved with anyone again as long as I lived, uh -huh. um, I was married to Richard. Uh, uh, Betty introduced me as part of her act. Uh -huh. So I would get on and get experience that way. And then I got a Broadway show myself uh -huh. called Early to Bed. And uh, then we, we we really worked separately for many years, and then we got together uh, in the. I didn't the, know that. I thought you you were a team never. for a long. Time. Well, I mean, it I'm was. not saying never, but we were for eight years only. All right. We were both appearing in a show called Call Me Mister. I was in the Na the New York company. Betty was in the national one, which had Buddy Hackett and Bud uh -huh. um, uh, Fossey uh -huh. and uh, Kyle Reiner was in her company, the national company, and I was on Broadway. Uh -huh. And when the two shows closed, both companies, mm -hmm. an agent at GAC suggested we join up and we, for one shot on Ed Sullivan, and that's what it was supposed to Ed be. Ed Sullivan made a lot of stars. Yes. Even he made Presley. He's made the Beatles. Well, they have he really, all on there. The Beatles really got to thank Elvis Presley. Sitting next to you is your old friend, Honey Merrill Roman. Yes, yeah. yes. Spent 13 <laughs> years with Mr. Jackie Gleason. That's true. Yes, 13 long years, honey. That's Tell me true. about those 13. I mean, how did you meet Mr. Jackie Gleason? Uh, at the auditions. Um, you were one in of the showgirls? In 1956, yes, when he was, um, uh, that, that season he was putting showgirls on uh -huh. for the first time with the dancers. Right. And uh, there were, I think, four auditions, starting with about 500 uh -huh. gals at the first one and dwindling down to the 16 that he eventually used, yeah. And that's where I first met him. Yeah. How did it become the love of your life? I mean, Jack, the... Uh, when did that happen? That took a little while, actually. Oh, it did? Yeah. It wasn't right yeah. away, then? No, I started dating Jack. And um, then um, I went to Las Vegas. Uh -huh. I worked there uh, as a showgirl for uh -huh. about three or four months. Uh -huh. And then when I came back to New York, um, that's when we started seeing each other. Uh -huh. Steadily. You two girls have a lot of memories of this well, wonderful we do. genius. I, well, I have yeah. very fond memories of Honey, and, and uh -huh. the, uh, because when I did the show, I started it in, in Florida, Florida in the 60s when they uh -huh. went into color and the hour-long versions uh -huh. and, uh -huh. and musicals. Yeah. And Honey was Those always were great. You yeah, were wonderful. And she was uh -huh. she was always so uh -huh. wonderful because she was in charge of everything. She was so thoughtful because she'd see that everybody got flowers every week. I know that was her that. Mm -hmm. It instigated the entire uh -huh. thing, and, and all the Christmas presents that she did, all the shopping and oh, everything. It started in October. And uh, <laughs> you she, were, she was devoted. Yeah, she was really devoted mm -hmm. to Yes, yeah, she was. She did everything for Why didn't you marry him, honey, at 13 years? Well, on December 21st of that same year, 1969. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was kind Jane, of... Jane, yes. and, and honey, tell me something. Was J J Jackie difficult at all? His ego, did he get in the way a lot? With, what would you say? Was, at times, but I, I, I don't know I, how Jane feels about that, but I think anybody with that enormous a talent, uh, a person who's so multifaceted, uh -huh. it, it would be hard for them not, not to, to have moments, you know, uh -huh. I mean, when they're going in, in 14 different directions, when uh -huh. they know how to do everything and they can do just about anything better than anybody else, right. I mean, the lights, the sets, the yes. scenery, the uh -huh. writing, Brilliant. the music, the whatever. I mean, naturally, you're going to have moments of impatience yeah. with people or whatever. You know. Shane, how do you feel? Well, yeah. I, he you, you was, I think he was always very easy on the actors. Oh, he, yeah. was he was wonderful really, to me, yes. wonderful Great to, uh -huh. to yes. Art Carney and Audrey. Art Carney. You're yes. mentioning Art Carney. I want to show this picture of you and Art Carney. Oh, I just love this man. Oh, I think he's wonderful. Yeah, he was a sweetheart. He was he, what really kind of wonderful. man is he to work with, Jane? Well, he's... He, he is actually very insecure, very shy, uh -huh. very low-key, uh -huh. 
And uh, the, they worked so differently, but it was like magic when the two of them, at rehearsals, mm -hmm. if they only taped the rehearsals, that would have been something for the public to see. Good rehearsals. Oh, right. when they would ad lib, because uh -huh. they just fit, each other, like Laurel uh -huh. and Hardy, it was like that, you know, uh -huh. and all wonderful teamwork. But they were, they never, they seldom socialized after the show. I mean, Jackie did would that go off in his... Did they really? They never out did limos, see? no. And that yeah. hurt Art. That was, yeah, he was very problem. sensitive to that. He was? Yes, he was. That mm -hmm. hurt him very much. He, because he wanted to He never to be invited close. to go, he never, in, he never got close with, uh, Jackie never wanted when to close. When Honey that was it? there, after the shows, we always used to go to a, a restaurant, the whole yeah, group. After the table. But I think Honey instigated a lot of that, where we would all join. Nice. But uh, yeah. afterwards, uh, the, uh, that completely disagreed. He, he yeah, married was, briefly uh, right. uh, on yes, the rebound right. when Honey left. He married a... <clears throat> I don't like to say it. That's right. Uh, a, a, a lady in the interim between, uh, before he married uh, Marilyn Taylor, uh, uh -huh. there was a lady. That, it was an unfortunate marriage because she... I wish she, I had a great deal of guilt through yes, the years. Yes, well, and I mean, she was uh, just uh -huh. a difficult woman and uh -huh. uh, was not gracious in any way. Once she became Mrs. Gleason, she yes. was... The star and and, and uh, had it tattooed it, on her chest, didn't she? Yes. <laughs> and the, uh -huh. well, the only <laughs> possible thing, I, because he always loved beautiful. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, he always admired beautiful women. Did he give you she, furnished beautiful gifts, Honey Merrill? I mean, I oh, understand yes. he gave you chinchillas, yes. diamonds, no, never had pink diamonds. Yes, pink I had diamonds, yellow diamond, canary yes, diamonds, yes, beautiful, yellow beautiful jewelry. jewelry. He mm -hmm. he was kind. There wasn't an occasion over the year when Jack would not remember me with some sort of lovely gift, uh, mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, yes. uh, any, any time of year. And um, St. Patty's Day, whatever, something uh -huh. green, an uh -huh. emerald. You uh -huh. know? Uh -huh. He always did that. And he was always asking me what I wanted, and I would always say nothing. You know? And because I said nothing, I think really that he used to outdo himself trying to I please I love me. this picture of you and I Jackie know. together. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't yeah. that a lovely picture? It is lovely. You know, she looks like... She looks like Grace Kelly. Kelly. Hair starter. Right. Yeah. Grace Kelly. <laughs> uh, Tell me, where was this taken? Half Irish, where was anyway. this at, honey? Um, that looks like it might have been at an affair that was given for him in New York um, in 1963. It was supposed to be given. Uh -huh. Uh, earlier, and then that was the day John F. Kennedy. I was, like this one. This uh, is my favorite shot. Yes, that's cute. That's isn't it? wonderful of you. God, was I that ever that isn't age? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> was I ever was that young? Last month, wasn't was it? Jackie oh, Gleason. Where did the time go? <laughs> that's a great shot. Ever, no, ever that that young. Young. You went to Paris <laughs> with him, honey. Three times, yeah. But the wonderful movie in France. Oh, oh that that was we were there so for almost great. six Wasn't months. Wasn't that true? Great go. movie. That was oh, my great. husband's favorite. favorite. Yeah. Mine too. Gigo. Jane King. Gigo. It's Gigo. 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 And the name of the Gene movie. Gene Kelly directed is it. Gigo. Gigo. Mm -hmm. Wasn't just, he brilliant? I, brilliant. But Jane yes. wrote. Well, and don't you feel? Did music, don't you? Everything. Don't you feel? He did. He mm -hmm. directed it. Everything. No, Gene Kelly directed. Directed, but he. Yeah. The music. He mm -hmm. wrote the, the yes. film and starred in it and wrote all the music. Yeah. Jack did. He was the closest mm -hmm. thing to a chaplain. Chaplain, chaplain. Yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you believe comics, good comics, mm. are great dramatic actors? Jane? Very often they are. He happens to be it one. It doesn't of go them. the yes. reverse, though. No, it certainly Am I does right? not. It does exactly. not go the reverse. Don't learn how to do comedy. Comedy, yeah, that's right. But I think one of the great oversights this past year was that he was not nominated for an Oscar for the the role he played in that. In uh, nothing in common. In nothing, nothing in common. Yes. He was brilliant. Yes. That was yes. some performance. Yes, he was. Yeah. Little knowing. Little knowing that, that was that's last. the way he was going to go. Yeah. Jack was yeah. used to oversights. Of course, he never received an Emmy. I know it. He for never got all an Emmy? of those no. years of brilliant shows. Never received an Everyone Emmy. Everyone else on Art, the show received the Emmys. Why?
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Skippy Lowe Looks at Hollywood. Tonight, Skippy is giving a tribute to Jackie Gleason. His guests include one of the talented actresses from the original Honeymooners series, Miss Jane King. And with her is a fascinating lady who spent over 13 years with Jackie, the love of his life, Miss Honey Merrill Roman. And now, here he is, the man of the half hour, Skippy Lowe. Jane Keen. Yes, Skippy. God, how many years you were with Jackie Gleason? Uh, well, about 10. ten. But but prior to being on the series, oh, the I I right. was on vo in vaudeville with him and on Broadway and in summer stock. With I him. did some. You've done a lot with him. Yes, an awful lot. <laughs> I go real way quick. Back. I'm going to ask you real quick. Why quick? Kind of. Why? <laughs> I'm going to ask you because I want to do that front. Take time. Why? No, I will. I have so much to say. What? <laughs> why, Jackie Gleason? What kind of a man really was this man, Jackie Gleason? Well, I, mean, I think it's very hard to, to describe Jackie in just one sentence because to me, he shifted gears somewhere in the middle of his life. Oh. And, and in the old day, when I say old days, we, we literally appeared in Lowe's one-nighters together when uh -huh. he did a stand-up act. And uh, in the Toot Shore era, where oh. he, he was... So much fun, so full of life, and, and love laughs, and love uh, living, and yeah. uh, you know, practical jokes on people. Mm -hmm. And then, with the success, uh, the tremendous success, he became like a, you know, a household word. Then he shifted gears and became much more serious. I think there was a tremendous responsibility uh, wow. and the weight of the world on his shoulders when you're that big. And I think that happens to so many giant stars. Now, the Jane, Jane Keene, the Keene sisters. Yes. Where did the Originally, where did you come from? Where did I uh, come the, from? The Keene sisters. Well, we, we, the vaudeville, I know. Well, no, we, we were born in Hartford, Connecticut, and uh, we had a stage mother, and my sister was in show business first. Mm. She, my older sister, and then Betty. when mother thought I was ready, she'd 